on my head. Gently now, gently. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia, think. Is that a, a, a village here? Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please. Oh, Amicia. Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Clavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius, is that really you? Where is Hugo? He, he's gone. I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I, I did everything I could to protect him. Even horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Leave me alone. Uh, Hugo. Uh, where are you? You, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. <coughs> mommy! Amicia, it's Mummy! What? It's coming from over there. We have to go. No, you're not going. But why? Let go of me. Hugo! I'm coming, Mummy. Come back! Mummy, where are you? No, Hugo! There, she's in there. It's not Mummy Hugo! Mummy, 
It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. been on Episangri's duty. People. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. What? Hey. There's movement over there. Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. Today's refining done. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw epistanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. The 
Only if the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the might. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. Stole in the The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so, because that's all we'll be able to produce. It's already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities. Hey, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Not afraid. In the city during the conjuration. You on the list? Yeah. I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again after the end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Be brave. Now. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. Uh, my head. Shh, uh, shut up. Uh, uh, mommy, where are you? Oh no, he mustn't see me. mentions the ascension of a child during the great plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. Let's 
go and see. Oh no. Nothing. Time to move on. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... If I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. <laughs> One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commands us. Yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. She keep resisting like that. We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. 
Her daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stand shut! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique and unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? I was told that the carrier of the macular is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mummy without him. I have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a, a radical change of diet. <sighs> hey, Good. kid. Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he wait a little while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you. We'll all go to hell. You and your fucking rats. Save us this respite. Going to get mommy. Your death is not an end. 
for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your bride. It's horrible. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll cooperate. Nicholas Copast. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. We must be near here. Uh, please. We can't get out. Let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. But at least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, you bastard. Hey, kid. What the hell are you doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh, you shouldn't. Magistrate Arun, for the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband? Right, our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back, mark my words. But, so they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia... My darling... You must go, if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo... Did they take your blood? Oh my god... All right, Hugo, we'll go together, but you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then, go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. This might get me a promotion. Authority, results. I told you it has to be efficient. The room no woman point has to a real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knife is sharpened. Hammer, pliers, armor, and sword. The weapon is ready. If only Mr. was here. Hmm. No. With the captain, I don't need her. check. Just free them. Yes. Oh, that's for the cages. Hmm? 
strange. Lanterns. does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply?
Hugo, can you hear them? <laughs> yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Everything is all right. Now, you're going to tell them to move. Gone. It was the Macula, but you answered it. Let's get going. Well done. You see? I must have been wrapped through some of the prisoners again. Come on. Find this document and get out of here. A bat. We'll make him leave. Use the rats. Bats? No! No! <laughs> Run, you big coward. You're scared, aren't you? Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, Mum. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... It's a gift. I'll explain later. A gift? this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh?
So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula. And it has not yet finished with him. Which means, neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia. How tiresome. But he's close now. And we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone. What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. So much more. And you will stay here with me, to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. <laughs> 